In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a Japanese bobtail cat. This is a medium sized cat that comes in both long hair and short hair varieties. They're long, slender cats that are muscular, love to be on the move, and can be highly affectionate. But we'll give you seven reasons why this cat may not be best for you. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not the Japanese bobtail is a cat that you should get. The first reason the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you is because they are highly intelligent. Cats are hunters by nature, so they're always up to something, but especially this cat. They're very smart, so it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you're engaging and stimulating their brain. You can do this by using a laser, a fake mouse, playing with them. And it'll be very important because if you don't, this cat will get curious, want to go outside, jump up on high places, cause destruction, and can be wild inside the home. So it'll be up to you to sort of exercise their mind and bodies in order to keep them happy and healthy. If this is something you really just don't want to do, then the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you. The number two reason the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you is because they are endless players. They want to play, run, jump. They want to do it all. So if you're looking for a laid back cat that sits around, this cat probably isn't best for you. They want to do a lot of different things because they've got the perfect body size to do it. They're medium sized, they're muscular, and they can jump, run, and play with the best of them. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you provide a space for them to run and jump. They'll want a cat tree. They'll want areas to themselves that they can have fun. If you don't want to do this and don't want to rearrange your home for this cat, then maybe this cat isn't best for you. The number three reason why the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you is because they are an indoor only cat. You can see that cats like to go outside because they're so curious. And in general, most cats should stay inside. This is where they're safest. They won't run off. They won't get into trouble. They won't get into fights. So if you can keep your cat inside, but because this cat is so smart, athletic, they'll always be looking to get outside. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you keep this cat inside. If this is something you don't want to deal with and always wonder where your cat is, are they in or out, then this cat may not be best for you and you should look to another cat breed. The next reason why a Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you is because they love attention. Some cats are standoffish, like to be more independent, but not this cat. It's going to be right by you at all times. It's going to want to be pet, it's going to want to cuddle, and it's going to be right up in your face most of the time. Some people love this, and that's why they get a cat. Others want their cat to kind of do their own thing and be there when they want them to. So if that's you, this cat's not going to be best for you. But if you're okay with a cat always being by you, wanting attention, pets, and love, then the Japanese bobtail cat would be perfect for you. The next reason the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you is because they are going to own the house. So whether you have other cats, another dog, kids, it doesn't matter. This cat's going to run the house. They'll be on the counter when it's time to eat. They'll be on the couch when it's time to watch TV. Whatever's going on, they'll be front and center right in the action and they'll make it known if they don't like something. They're very vocal when they need to be. So if you want a cat that's just out of the way and doing its own thing, this is not the cat for you and you should look to another cat breed. The number six reason this cat may not be best for you is because they would appreciate a friend. If you're going to get a Japanese bobtail, you may consider getting two. They've shown that they really do well together because of how smart and active they are. They appreciate a friend to play with and to be with and they do get separation anxiety. So it's nice to have another cat around if you're gone. So if you have other dogs, kids, that's great too, but they'd love another cat around. So if this is something you don't want and you only want one cat, then the Japanese bobtail cat may not be best for you, but more the merrier, then you should get a Japanese bobtail because they love being around other cats, animals, and dogs. The last reason this cat may not be best for you is because they do get separation anxiety. We just mentioned that they like being around their humans, they like being around other cats, dogs, they don't generally like being left alone. That's one of the reasons you get a cat. Some cats have no problem and can be left alone for days at a time, but not this cat. So if you're gone, long trips, you work a lot, you may look to another cat breed. 
but if you're home or you can have somebody around most of the time, then this cat will do just fine and will be perfect. It can definitely be left alone at times, but not for long periods, otherwise this cat could struggle. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Japanese bobtail cat, and we'll see you on the next one.